Hi, I'm Joanna Shakti, the Soul Love Mentor. Would you like to know how to create chemistry, attraction, and passion? Before I give you the three points, let me explain how this works. You have to understand the dynamic between masculine and feminine polarity. Masculine and feminine are energies. They're like magnets. When you bring the positive side and the negative side of a magnet together, the opposite sides, they come together and they stick. And it actually takes a little energy to pull them apart. But if you flip one of those magnets, they actually repel. And not only do they repel, but they repel fast. And this happens in our dating and relating. So what is masculine and what is feminine? Masculine is focused, assertive, penetrating, direct, results-oriented. Feminine, it's soft, flowing, creative, receptive, surrendered, expressive. And these two energies are massively attracted to each other. Here's the biggest problem with masculine and feminine energy. Most of us have absolutely no idea how it works. And worse yet, when we think we know how it works, we often have it completely backwards. What's happened in our culture over the last 50, 60 years, and I can't go into all of that right now, but the essence of it is that it's tried to neutralize these two energies. And it leaves nice girls and nice guys hanging out new age sensitive guys meeting strong independent women and they're hanging out in the friend and roommate zone. So now that you understand the problem, here are three things that you have to understand to ignite that spark of attraction. First, you want to know what your sexual essence is. Is it masculine? Is it feminine? Or is it neutral? And here's the thing about neutral there's actually very few people who have a neutral sexual essence. I share a quiz in my video, Opposites Attract, that will help you know exactly what your sexual essence is. And even if you think you know what it is, I really invite you to take that quiz because I can't tell you how many men and women have been shocked by what they discovered. Next, once you know your sexual essence, you have to live it. For the masculine, that means direct, decisive, assertive, erect. For the feminine, that means soft, flowing, radiant, receptive, and even a little bit wild. The third thing you need to do is let go of all the unsupportive and limiting beliefs that stop you from being you. Guys, you might have just said, I'm a good guy. I'm not going to be disrespectful or assertive. I'm not going to be one of those jerk men. The feminine is not weak. The masculine is not a jerk. It's those limiting beliefs that keep zapping your chemistry and putting you in the friend zone, connected to your sexual essence. United, the masculine and feminine have hot, kisses, conversations, and lovemaking. 